In here tonight with new reporting and our ongoing Price of Paradise coverage. Welcome here, everyone, to ABC Action News at 530. I'm Paul Legrone. Tonight, we're getting to the bottom of those skyrocketing costs of property insurance and why one state senator is now warning of a total market collapse here in the Sunshine State. As we've been telling you, State Senator Jeff Brandis is calling now for a special session. And right now, the Secretary of State is, in fact, polling the state legislature to see if, in fact, there are enough votes in favor of holding that session. Investigative reporter Stasi Almos has been following the insurance crisis, talking with homeowners, agents, and roofing companies about a possible solution. And tonight, she is taking a deeper dive into what is actually happening in our own backyards and how scammers are gaming the system. Since my last story on homeowners insurance, several people have reached out about their premiums doubling, even tripling here in Florida. One woman's $140,000 home in Lutz went from $2,400 to $4,300 with Southern Fidelity. Another woman has a $300,000 home in Plant City insured by Tower Hill. Our property insurance has been $3,500 to $4,500 for the last 12 years. Received the new bill in the mail last week, $8,375.99. That's why she's paying 15 grand to get a new roof installed this week. I talked to Farmers Insurance and they told me that because our roof is shingled and over 10 years old, that nobody wants to insure it anymore. And the quote I got is for less than $3,000 a year once the metal roof is installed. Insurance agencies confirm with me that the current homeowners insurance market is the worst they've ever seen. Sadly, for the most part, a lot of the private carriers are trying to get off risks. I don't know how we we went from $400 to a whole new roof. I don't know that. When Valrico homeowner John Hansen received a notice from his insurance company regarding the age on his roof, he had a roofer come out for an estimate. He says the roofer found broken shingles in the back from a windstorm. They advised me to put in a claim with my insurance company to get that part of the roof replaced. The insurance company uh, originally rejected it, saying that they would fix just the broken shingles. That would have been a $400 payout, but because his deductible was $2,500, he wasn't going to get anything. When I informed the roofing company of that, they asked if they could bring in a consumer advocate to help. After some back and forth, the insurance company agreed to replace the entire roof. That came out upwards of 20 grand. When they said the whole roof, I thought that was maybe a little expensive. Excessive, but I wasn't going to argue with them. Under state law, insurance companies don't have much of an option. If more than 25% of a roof is damaged, they have to replace the whole thing, known as replacement cost value. At this point in time, it's become about as crazy as I've ever seen it. I've been involved with it now 40 years. Our, our company's been here 70 years. Tampa Bay legacy roofer Doug Shields says scammers are taking advantage. The attorneys get involved. The attorney's got a, a, a law that states if they recover $1 of storm damage, their attorney fees are covered. These litigation costs have put seven Florida insurance companies in liquidation with several others pulling out of the state. And for those remaining, their ratings are dropping rapidly. I got seven emails this morning from our service team of new non-renewals that our clients are going to be receiving due to the age or life expectancy of the roof. Florida Strategic Insurance even started their own roofing company to try and help clients replace roofs before getting dropped. One insurance company in particular that we write a lot of business with and speaking with the CEO was telling us that last year he averaged 26 lawsuits a day for roofs. According to the Office of Insurance Regulation, more than 79,000 lawsuits were filed against insurance companies in 2020 with underwriting losses at more than a billion dollars. Another study commissioned by the Senate Banking and Insurance Committee found that in 2019, 71% of money awarded went to roofer attorney fees and 25 attorneys filed 33% of the lawsuits. It's very difficult to compete with those guys. For example, Shield says he quoted a customer for a $14,700 roof with no storm damage, but another roofer claimed storm damage in court and got $32,000 from the insurance company. And that's just not fair. Shield says their reputation keeps them busy, but it's also gotten him recruited by one of these contractors. He said, you don't know how much you would make with your reputation. I, you, people would trust me so much more because of Shield's roofing. And, and I said, yeah, but I said, 
then I'm caught up in the game fraud. And I said fraud like four or five times in the thing, and he kind of laughed and he goes, I look at it like an opportunity. Governor Ron DeSantis signed Senate Bill 76 to stop contractors from soliciting to repair roofs through insurance, but it's still happening. The Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation tells me the law hasn't been enforced because of two current lawsuits, one based on freedom of speech. Insurance companies are not writing business for the most part anymore. In Pinellas and Hillsborough County, as an agency, I would say we're writing roughly 80 to 90 percent of our new business with citizens. Citizens Property Insurance is the state subsidized last resort carrier now approaching a million policies. When we speak with the representatives at citizens, they don't want us to write business at citizens. And we flat out tell them we don't want to write business at citizens, but we're forced to. It really makes me mad because I pay my bills, I pay my taxes, and yet we're the ones who are penalized. But the scammers, they just get away with it. Now, homeowners and property insurance companies are waiting, hoping that the legislature will meet for a special session to change that replacement cost value to actual cost value. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Stassi Olmos taking action for you. All right, so here is our Price of Paradise price point on this story. The timeline for meaningful change looks something like this. The Secretary of State is currently polling the legislature tonight, right now. Uh, that poll was just uh, went about uh, active about 20 minutes ago. 20 percent of the lawmakers already responded in favor of holding the special session to get something done on this. If 60 percent vote in support, a notice of a special session will go out within seven days and will occur two to three weeks later. For more information on what is happening with the insurance crisis in Florida, visit ABCActionNews.com. Click on this story under the Price of Paradise tab.